right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. And today, guys, I'm joined by Steve LFC. This is Anfield. Thank you, Steve, for joining. I believe this is the this I bet. You've been in my channel before in the past, but this is like the first time in a long time you've been in my channel. Yeah, very long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last time you featured was like uh 2021, I if I'm not mistaken, or 2022. Or actually, I think it was like 2020 or 2021. It was around that time. Yeah. So, and this is when I was kind of getting to YouTube. And I think you were starting as well. And we've grown. Yeah, at least you got to close to 2K now. So, congratulations on that. The grind yeah, to 2K well, is on. So. Yeah, well, I haven't reached 2K yet, but um, hopefully we reach 2K by the end of this year. So, that's my yeah. end goal at Target. So, we're going to be doing our Liverpool versus Real Madrid preview. We have a massive game on Wednesday this week in the Champions League, probably the most standout game. Because, with all due respect, the other games this week, it's not as exciting as this game you know and so this is the game that's going to take headlines for the week and steve man he's a liverpool fan and i'm we're going to be discussing about his thoughts during guards the game so steve man i'm going to come to you first um so oh, how man. do you feel about this game this game i'm kind of nervous to be honest even though liverpool has been good i think only lost one game this season i think it was to forest if i'm not mistaken and the rest has been wins, but we just came up from a, like, a, how to say, unconvincing win. Not the most convincing win against Southampton, but still get the eight points at the top of the Premier League table. But the Champions League is a whole different story. Real Madrid are the kings, but struggling this season, lost to Leo, lost to Milan. But, um, yeah, Real Madrid can have a definitely repeat the history and go unbeaten against Liverpool like they always do. Every time we face Madrid, it's not been easy. We took the lead, I think, before in the last fixture, I think it was, and, and then Real Madrid just yeah, came was, back and Anfield. beat us. I think it yeah. was at Anfield as well, so definitely, yeah. even if we take the lead, don't jump your gun. Real Madrid can easily come back, just like they always do. They're Real Madrid. They are the king of, of the Champions League. I think 15 titles. So definitely, yeah, even titles. under the new league phase, I do not uh, fancy Liverpool as much as I would want my team to win. But realistically, I think Real Madrid are the definitely more decorated team regarding the Champions League, and they can definitely give Liverpool a tough game and take it to Liverpool and beat Liverpool and Anfield. Anfield yeah, is I mean, not 100% fortress, so, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, because you know the thing is, <clears throat> Salah in particular has said a lot of times the previous past, like, oh, I want revenge, I want revenge. It's never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially when Ramos, like, just destroyed his shoulder in that, I think that was 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20. yeah, so yeah. so but you know, but the thing is this time though it's different. It's a group stage match. Like essentially the league phase is a group stage, essentially. Yeah, it's just a longer group stage. It's eight matches apart yeah. from six matches when it's normally six matches, right? So Yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically it's an extent it's basically the group stage. So I feel like for this one, Liverpool, I think, how about it takes? And I've said this before, I'm gonna say this again. If you want to beat Real Madrid, this is probably the best time to do so. Because this has been – because I haven't seen Liverpool be this good in a long time. I think the last time I saw Liverpool this good was when they won the league. Was it, I think, 19 and Yeah, it was definitely under Klopp. Yeah, yeah, I think the, this is the first time I've seen a manager just come into Liverpool. It was always going to be hard to replace Klopp, but he actually did a good job, let's be honest. Even though the Forest yeah. win was pretty bad, but we put it behind our shoulders and it continued – the form yeah, yeah. with the our, our rest of our games and won everything else. So, so yeah, definitely that's, Liverpool that's what it takes. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool have been really good this season. Like only like I think they've only dropped points in two games this season across all competitions. That even includes the Champions League as well. Perfect at the table. There's no other team that's got as many points as Liverpool in the Champions. Yeah, we only drop points against Arsenal and Forest. I think right. That's it. Right. Yeah. 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 That's it. <clears throat> Whereas Real Madrid, it's been a chaotic season to say the least. It's not been as dominant as we expected them to. And Mbappe not being in the form of what expected him to be, 
Um, Real Madrid's back line is going through a crisis at the moment. You know, there's no Carvajal. Yeah, Carvajal is injured. Militao injured for the season. I think Courtois yeah. is back, though. Courtois is back. I saw him back today, and his team won Alaba. 3-0 today. But Yeah, Alaba is also out, and you know, Real Madrid is struggling defensively. So it, it's going to be very interesting because I do feel like maybe now is the time, you know. Maybe now is the time for Liverpool to get revenge, but we'll see, of course. So I think we're going to – let's move to the next segment. I think we're going to move to the next segment, and we're going to talk about the Liverpool 11. Liverpool 11. So what 11 do you expect Arna Slot to roll out with on Wednesday? Uh, Allison is not back. Like, I, uh, I was expecting him to be back on the bench for the Southampton game, but obviously he didn't recover. So it will be Kelleher, no-brainer. It has to be Kelleher in that goal. Because Allison did not recover, Cumin Kelleher remains in goal. Left back, I think we definitely need the strongest back four for Liverpool. So I definitely go Robbo, which is Robertson at left back. Trent has not recovered, so sadly it's Bradley at right back. As much as I want Trent there, but it's Connor Bradley at right back, in my opinion. Konat and Wendyk remains the central back pairings, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's dude, too Benjamin. big of a match to rotate like there. So, yeah, I mean, I in the too. midfield, I think McAllister is rested today just for the Champions League game. It will be Mc, uh, McAllister. Where I I don't know what formation slot will use four two three one four three three, but I think yeah McAllister will be there. Graven Birch and Trubosly. That's my ideal three in the midfield for Liverpool. So yeah. And then uh, do you think Graven Birch will play DM? Yeah, definitely. He's been playing DM all season, and I'm surprised Liverpool are surviving without a proper DM. But Gravenberch just shines this season. He just been the outstanding player, transformed yeah, by started. by last season. He had a so-so season, but this season he's been yeah, one of the talking great. points for Liverpool, and definitely he's proven the engine in that DM, and is well deserved to be there. So, yeah, 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 right wing should be a no brainer. It has to be Salah, most informed player in Liverpool, apart from Diaz this season, which I do fancy Diaz on the left wing. And potentially, I'm not sure the, the, the striker, I'm not sure. Jota is obviously out, he's injured, so. It should be yes, it should be um, Nunes for me, but I I think he'll go Nunes ahead of Gakpo, but okay. it can easily be Gakpo. But yeah, if it was me, yeah, so I would pick at... Gakpo. But yeah, Nunes would definitely look... be. There, so. Yeah, I'm so I'm looking at Liverpool eleven. I think the strongest is obviously Salah. Salah has obviously been amazing this season. I think McAllister's been. I think Gravenberg's been great. I think Van Dijk and has been great, and I even think Keller has been amazing as well. Um, and so that's gonna be interesting to see now. Obviously, Luis Diaz I think has also stepped up his game. Yeah, hey, really... I definitely step up his gear this season. What yeah. one of the most informed Liverpool players this season, the Colombian. Yeah, no. yeah. Now we're gonna look at the Real Madrid eleven. I think definitely Courtois back and go. I definitely think. Yeah, yeah, Courtois. We'll probably play. Ever gonna sit Courtois will right? definitely be back. That will be a problem for Liverpool. Courtois himself. It's been the trouble for the like. At least two of them, when we faced them in the group stage, when we faced them in the, I think, the final, it was Courtois denying every shot. So literally, Courtois, the big man, will be problem again for Liverpool. Yeah, I'm going to assume that both teams will play the 4 2 3. And the right back. Now, right back is interesting. Right back. Oh, man. Raskins. I don't know. Raskins, that's my guess. I'm not sure. But the thing is, Steve, he was benched today, he didn't play today. So, uh, let me have a relook at the Real Madrid team today. Let me have a relook at that team. I only know they've won the game. Let's see. Who did they start at? Let's see. According to FootMob, it says, well, where they actually started. There. But yeah. I don't think that's the best idea for Liverpool, right? So. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Who's Even that? though Vasquez is not so good, I don't rate Vasquez, but he has his moments before with assists and goals. He does score, so 
Carver Hall is a massive miss, but I still think Vasquez remains left right, right wing back, or that's he's more of a right wing back to me than a right back. But, yeah. but, but I, I think I think Carlo might be thinking this way that Vasquez against Salah, Salah's gonna destroy Vasquez. <laughs> like Vasquez. <laughs> I got it. Oh man, Diaz would run that Vasquez here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, Diaz, Diaz. My bad, Diaz. Yeah, yeah, Diaz. Not Sal. Well, I mean, Sal could probably still do too, but yeah, Luis Diaz is probably gonna destroy him. So maybe we could see Carlo actually, uh, maybe maybe put Valverde right back, maybe for this game. Yeah, man. Yeah, Valverde does play on the right. He's very versatile. Yeah, but and he scored from uh, there today on the day. So. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Valverde start right back, but maybe we'll see Vasquez. But we'll see on the center back. But we'll um, Frank Garcia is definitely left back, right? Yeah, yeah. Frank Garcia over over Mandy. So yeah, yeah. Okay, center back. So we're gonna see Rudiger start, and then I think we're gonna see a Rudiger center. and um, uh, I don't know. Maybe. A uh, bigger, I don't know what it is. Asensio guy has started. Yeah, for some reason he's not here. On the That's going to be a problem for Real Madrid in that department because yeah, Eden Militao, as much as he's bad, but when Courtois plays, he's 10 times better for some reason, Eden Militao, but he's injured. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are injured. All the center backs are injured, like uh, Alaba Militao. Yeah, then the left back. Oh yeah, Vasquez is also injured. I didn't even see that. It says on foot mob he's injured. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, he's he's injured. He's injured. So yeah, I think. And Chilmani used to play there, but he's injured as well. So that's a problem for them. Yeah. yeah. Rodrigo, I don't know. He's in contention. Muscle injury back in training. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's go through left back. So left back. Who do you think is gonna start? Frank Garcia. Frank Garcia. Or... It has to be Frank Garcia over Mandy, right? What do you agree with that or? But yeah, I would really. definitely go Mandy over Frank Garcia, but I, I, mm, I don't know. Because Perla Mandy's not been that good this season. He's been kind of mediocre, so maybe we'll see Frank Garcia start this game. Uh, yeah. the, the no wonder Real Madrid wants Davies or some left back in the future. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then I think we're going to see Modric. I think Modric will surely play this game. Modric, Modric has, even though despite his age, he definitely plays for the... I yeah, think it will be Modric, Camavinga, and Bellingham. That's what I think. Yeah, I think I agree. I agree. Uh, Camavinga, I think, will be the DM. And I think Jude will play up front um, in the midfield. So, like that. And then, obviously, the front three striker will obviously be Mbappe. Mbappe, Vinny Jr., and um, Arde Gule. Arde Gule. Yeah. That's my guess. Because, because Rodrigo's doubtful and injured. So. Yeah, so looking at this Real Madrid team, who is the players that you are most scared of? Because for me... Vinny Jr. He's been doing it every time he faces Liverpool, so he has a record yeah. against us. So definitely are, you, are, you scared, are you scared of Jude and uh, Mbappe? Jude, not as much. Mbappe to a more degree than Jude, for sure. It's mainly Mbappe and Vinny Jr. that might do the damage. Unless Liverpool play a good um, offside trap... I don't see anything from uh, us to stop Mbappe, like how Barcelona did. It's different. So. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Play the offside trap. Play the offside trap. I think Guler is obviously one to look out for. I think he could be huge in the attack. Um, yeah. So obviously, yeah, he's definitely a problem. And I don't get how Don Carlo Ancelotti is not using Endrick enough. He did score in the win against, I think it was Stuttgart. So why yeah, yeah. are you not? Giving Hendrick more minutes. So I think Steve, looking at this back line, this back line looks very fragile. Basically, the only two players are regular starters there are Rudiger and Courtois. That yeah, line. definitely, definitely. That's, that's where we can exploit the back line. They're having injury crisis in the back line, similar to City. So definitely, we can exploit those weaknesses. Right, that was, yeah, let's do a combined eleven. Now, this combined eleven may be a bit. Uh, a bit more focused on a bit more Liverpool players. I mean, Liverpool have been better than Real Madrid this season so far. I would say. Yeah, it has to be Courtois and go regardless. I still pick Courtois, the big man, and go ahead of Keller here because of yeah, the yeah. Champions League pedigree, it has to be said. 
But for the other petition, there has to be Liverpool, right? Yeah, courts law, for sure. And the right back, obviously, um, it's got to be um, it's got to be who's the guy? I forgot his name. Um, Bradley. Connor Bradley, right? Yeah, and we're only gonna do players that are like not in. We're actually, do you, wait, actually, Steve, do we do players that are injured or we can? No, we shouldn't include that. That's kind of. <laughs> That's kind of I I usually don't include the injured players when I do the combined elevens. Okay, okay, yeah, the center. That's for a different play. story. So, left back has to be Robertson ahead of Fran Garcia, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, then I would say center. And then center backs. I think we gotta put. Uh, for me, this is what I'm going for. I'm going Rudiger and Van Dyke. Yeah, that's the same for me. Yeah, basically, yeah. All right, Rudiger and Van Dyke. All right, oh man, DM. this is where it gets tricky. The midfield, oh man, I don't really know. Um, I think I have to put Kamavinga in there. I'm not sure. I mean, mm -hmm. do I put Kamavinga in there? Yeah, and then Shubusli in there. Ravenberg, right, Shubusli, Kamavinga. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, the right wing is obviously gonna be Salah, no doubt. Uh, yeah. Uh, then striker. Mbappe or Darwin Nunes? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I can't put Darwin Nunes there. I have no guts to put him there. Oh, <laughs> he had only two goals all season, I think. So, Mbappe definitely yeah. takes the stand. Yeah. All right. Mbappe it is, man. Mbappe it is. So, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not as lopsided as I thought it would be. So, let's actually count. Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, it's actually pretty close. So six five. So six five slightly in favor of Liverpool <clears throat> over Real Madrid. All right. Now let's look at um let's look at the insights coming into this game. Because I actually think there's some good insights here from Google in particular. Let's look at these insights. And then we're gonna look at the head to head and then give a prediction, I suppose. So um it says right there, Liverpool won their first three games against Real Madrid European competition between 1981 and 2009. However, they're winless in eight meetings since then, suffering seven defeats. Well, it's not looking seven good. defeats. Yeah, we never beat Real Madrid. We only got the best result was a draw. That's all I remember. <laughs> Real Madrid are the team that Liverpool have lost most often against the European competitions. Seven, indeed. Among sides they have faced five times in Europe, they're also opponent that have lost lost the highest percentage of games against. Sixty four percent, seven losses in eleven games. Ooh. Liverpool are the only team with a 100% record in the UEFA Champions League this season winning all four games. The only previous time they won first five matches in a major European campaign was 2021-22. One first seven. Oh, yeah. I think that was the season where you guys reached the final. Um, yeah, yeah. 17-18, right? Yeah. No, it says 21-22 here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Real Madrid have lost two of their last three UEFA Champions League matches, as many as they had in their previous 28 games. Win 20, draw 26. They have never lost three games in a single group phase in a season before. Well, I did not know that. Real Madrid. Uh, yeah, Real Madrid usually don't lose that much. That's the thing. Half of Liverpool, half of Liverpool's goals in the UEFA Champions League this season have been, has been scored falling crosses, with their five such goals being the most of any side. Each of the last three goals from crosses of the competition have been assisted by Mohamed Salah, one versus Bologna and two versus Bayern Leverkusen. Okay, so very interesting, very interesting insights there. I like those insights. Do you like those insights, Steve? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not in favor of Liverpool, but those are nice insights indeed. Yeah, oh, the only English clubs I think to beat Real Madrid in history is Chelsea and uh, City. So Liverpool is not in that list. So it's concerning. Yes. All right, head-to-head, head-to-head. -head. So this is the head-to-head -head record of all time, Steve. So Real Madrid got seven wins, one draw, and three wins for Liverpool. 17 goals scored. Oh, three wins for Liverpool. Where do those wins come from? Before I was a Liverpool fan, that's most likely so. so. <laughs> yeah, 17 goals, um, and then 10 goals for Real Madrid. Um, sorry, Real Madrid got 17 goals, and Liverpool got 10 goals. And you can see the top score, the Ronaldo, 105. Mohamed Salah was 43. Uh, the 15 tiles, six tiles, most recent last season, and the 2018-2019. As uh, you can see, highlights. Obviously, we're not going to play highlights for copyright reasons, but you can see on your own. 16, uh, you last 16 titles? Oh, 16 titles? Oh, man. No, no. No, it's 15. It's 15. 15? 15 titles? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can see the match yeah, displays. Last time, it was around 16. I think you were just talking about this earlier. Real Madrid won yeah. 62 and a half. 
And then the final there was 2021-22. Yeah, that's the game I'm talking about. We, we uh, I think, scored two, and then we bartered it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Similar to the Dortmund game, it's same thing, Real Madrid. So. Yeah. And then 17-18 right here. And then at 14 and 15. And then uh, 3-0. And then the last time Liverpool won was actually in 2009. They actually won both games against Real Madrid. Round of 16. Uh, Excuse me. Wow. And then 1981. So it's been a long time, Steve. It's like this is going to be like Liverpool looking to win for the first time since 2009. It's been 2009. Yeah, that was before I even knew football. <laughs> That's for sure. I knew football since 2014. So, yeah. Yeah. So now it comes the hardest part of the video. Your prediction. Oh, and, man. Okay. This is going to be nightmares, man. <laughs> Revenge or no revenge is the best time to get revenge. I really wanted to get revenge and say 2-1, but I do not favor that prediction at all. So I favor Real Madrid in this one. Oh. So you're going to say Real Madrid wins at Anfield? Yeah, Real Madrid wins at Anfield, I think only just. Okay, so... Are, are Unfortunately. You say two one? Yeah. 2-1 like win or 1-0 win? What are you saying? 2 1 win, 2 1 win, or or 3 2 win. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, now, Steve, um, something tells me that this might be like Barca Bayern. Remember how we all said that Bayern owned Barca for the last couple of years, and then Barca finally beat Bayern at their crib at home? And at oh, yeah, Barca, Barca beat them how much again? 4 1, was it? Yeah, 4 1, yeah, yeah. And then Liverpool at home against Real Madrid. Real Madrid have owned Liverpool for the last couple of years. And maybe Liverpool can finally win. Maybe this is the time. We have to break the duck. We have to break the duck. This is the best chance to do it. But I'm still not confident. So. <laughs> See, the thing is, it's Real Madrid. It's Real Madrid. And I have a feeling they're going to respond. I, I have a feeling after the Milan game, they're going to be more more energized for this game. They're going to they're gonna be more hungry. They want to score yeah, more gonna, goals. Yeah. yeah, and I think Real Madrid know that they, they need to get something from this game. And for Liverpool, they just don't... Hey, Liverpool... It's going to be big. So it's a tough one to call. It's a tough one to call, Steve. But I'm going to say a 2-2 draw. I just think Real Madrid defensively are too uh, – they're just too weak, which is why I don't think they'll keep a clean sheet. And I just think Liverpool's offense is great. But as good as Liverpool's offense is, I do feel like their defense could be breachable, as we just saw against Southampton. So I'm going to say a 2-2 draw. But let me just say I'm hoping Liverpool wins because, you know, I'm a Barca fan. But um, it would be nice to see. But – for um, Real Madrid, as I said, they cannot afford to lose this game because if they lose this game, their chances of finishing the top eight is looking very bleak. Yeah, and Liverpool, if we win this game, we still remain unbeaten in the Champions League. That never happened, I think, before, right? So, Yeah, so I'm going to say a 2-2 draw is my prediction, and Steve is going for a 2-1 Real Madrid win. So let me know what you guys think of the comments below. I hope you guys did enjoy this collaboration. Remember, guys, to subscribe to Steve's channel. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. And of course, subscribe to my channel as well. Like this video if you did enjoy. And let me know if you guys wanted to see any more of these kind of matchups. We collaborated with people ahead of the big Champions League. Maybe we'll do this like once a week when there's like a standoff match. So I hope you guys Yeah, what's the big Champions League games the, this week? This game and yeah, then and, it's, and it's then that's it, right? Yeah, it's pretty much and then that's it, right? Because PSG is yeah. not that good. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll obviously have our Champions League review on Wednesday. We'll have the live stream. We're going to go live after the game. We're going to talk about this game. Obviously, we'll talk about the other games as well. And this game will probably be the main focus of the stream on Wednesday. So, we'll see what happens. I hope you guys did enjoy today's stream. Remember, guys, like and subscribe, of course. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.